Hello, friend. So glad that you could join me today uh, because I want to share uh, a book with you and um, to share something really cool about how God has made us. And that's what this book is all about. It's about the story of creation. That's the title. The story of creation. God made it for you. Did you know that? Hmm. Well, I'm not going to be able to read every word in this book, but I think the pictures are pretty awesome. And I'm going to summarize it for you. All right, in the beginning, it was really dark. And God said, let there be light. Right, and he separated the light from the dark. And as the book says, he made it for you. Hmm. That's pretty cool. The second day, he made the sky and the water and separated them from each other. And he made it for you. The third day, he said, let there be the land. Right? He separated the land from the water so that green grass and all kinds of plants and trees and everything could, could grow out of the land. And he made it for you. Hmm. Then God said, let there be lights in the sky. Sun, the moon, all the stars, everything that we get to see at night and with big telescopes and everything, all of that he made for you. That's a lot of stuff that he's giving you, huh? The fifth day, God said, there should be animals. There should be all kinds of creatures in the sea, and there should be all kinds of creatures in the sky. And he made them. And he made them for you. On the sixth day, he did the same thing with the land. He said, let it be filled with animals. All different kinds of animals. All kinds of creatures, right? Take a look at that. Look at all those animals he'd seen. Can you find your favorite one in there? Or is your favorite one not on there? You can share that with, with somebody. If you have a different one, that's your favorite. Or point to your favorite here. Incredible, all the different creatures he made. And he made them for you. Wow. Wow. How do we know that? How do we know he made them for us? Because also on the sixth day, he made us. He made people. He made humans. He made the very first human, a man. And when he made that man, he said, I want you to take care of all these animals. I made them for you to take care of them. That's what we call a responsibility, right? Or a job, right? It's our responsibility. They're for us, but they're for us to take care of. That's pretty cool. It's kind of like when, if you have ever been given a pet, an animal, do you have a pet? A dog or a cat or maybe a fish or a bird or a turtle or a tarantula something like that right any of these creatures if someone gives you a creature does a creature need to be taken care of does an animal need to be taken care of yeah the animal needs food and water and maybe to be cleaned and and maybe to even clean out it it's, it's cage or something, right? You get all the poop out or something like that, right? The animal needs to be taken care of. And who's going to do that? 
you. And maybe your parents help. But the pet, the animal, was given to you. You get to take care of it, huh? You also get to enjoy it. You get to enjoy it being one of your friends and, and watching all the cool things it does. And maybe you can teach it tricks or something. You also take care of it. And God says, that's, that's why I give it to you. So you can take care of it. And then you get to enjoy it. And God said he did to do that even with people, right? When he made man, that first man, he said, that first man shouldn't be alone. There should be a woman, right? There should be a man and a woman. And the two of them, they should have more boys and girls. And those children should have children. And there should be a whole lot of people. And I'm going to give them those people only to take care of, right? Your mom and your dad. God gave your mom and your dad you and your brother and your sister. And he gave you to your parents for your parents to take care of you. Pretty awesome, huh? Doesn't it feel good to be taken care of? Does it feel good to get warm hugs from mom and dad and, and for them to make you your favorite food and, um, or maybe even just food that's good for us, even if we don't like to eat it, right? They take care of us, right? And you have an animal to take care of too. Or maybe you make your favorite Lego creation whether it's a big fancy set or maybe you make something all by yourself, right? Like my boys, they just made vehicles from Star Wars out of Legos from their own imagination. Pretty awesome, huh? And that means it's super special to them. So they're going to take care of it, right? They don't want anyone else to, to come in and smash it, right? Uh, maybe they even have trouble sharing it because they don't want anything to happen to it, right? They want to take care of it. When we have those times where it's our responsibility to take care of someone or something, we remember how much God takes care of us. Sometimes we don't want to take care of other people. We just want to think about ourselves. Sometimes we don't want to take care of the animals or creation or our house or to take the trash out, right? Because it helps keep things clean. Sometimes we don't want to do all those things because we'd rather just take care of ourselves. But we can't take care of ourselves, huh? We can't do everything for ourselves. Even our moms and dads can't do everything for themselves. They need each other. They need you and you need them. All of that reminds us how much we need God. God made all of this for you so that you would know how much he cares for you, how much he loves you. It's pretty awesome, huh? Let's thank God for that. Can we pray together? Would you join me and repeat after me? Dear God, thank you for taking care of me. Thank you for loving me so much. Thank you for giving me Jesus. Thank you for giving me all the people who love me and take care of me. Thank you also for giving me lots of cool stuff to take care of too. Like my pets, my toys, my house, even my family too. Whenever we get to take care of someone or something, Remind us 
how much you take care of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, guys. This week, I want you to think about one of those, one of those times. Sometime, maybe mom and dad ask you to do something, and maybe you don't want to. Instead, pause and say, Thank you, God. You're always taking care of me. Right? Awesome. Have a great week.